So, coach, um, assistant coach now of the introduction year coach. Just start off of how you feel with Mark Rouse's appointment and how you guys can work together as a team. Yeah, look, I mean, it's, a, it's an honor, a privilege, and a great opportunity uh, to be in this position where I can continue uh, in my capacity as a, and obviously as a, as an assistant coach to, you know, continue to, to help the team achieve excellence. Um, I mean, we all know Mark, you know, he's um, actually behind the scenes, you know, he's a completely different person. Um, I mean, he's a solid family man is he, he cares a lot about the environment the, the cricketers the, the people that he works with um, yeah I mean I think is you know it's a, it's a good appointment and um, I'm sure he will he'll bring in the, the the character that he had as a cricketer um, uh, into, in, into the environment as well which is something we we also felt and uh, in India that we just needed in our, in our, in our, in our test environment to just to touch to toughen up the environment a bit more but Obviously, he's playing experience of 160 test matches. Um, you know, he'll do it in a different way, in a, from a different angle, and, um, and that's something we, we look forward to. And obviously, I bring in different qualities to what he has, and and we strongly feel that it will really complement each other. So, yeah, it's an exciting opportunity. Can you talk about those qualities that you're going to add as a system? Yeah, look, I mean, I'm, a, I'm more of a visionary, you know, and um, I bring in a lot of planning, a lot of structures and um, obviously clarity, which he does as well, and role definitions, all that. So we do complement each other. And um, I mean, he's, he's a bulldog, you know, in a way, um, you know, in the moment, you know, he, he, he does his, his work and um, he's uh, very instinctive as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we, I mean, there's still a lot of things that we still need to unpack and as we go along um, and, and see how, how we can even maximize our qualities as, as, as a pair. Uh, one, one great thing, I mean, he said, it's, 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 not, it's, it's not just about him um, to pull this team. I think the, the two of us, we're going to play a massive role. And, uh, and he's made it clear from the start that me and him, we need to take this team to new heights. And uh, that really excited me. You know, so in a lot of processes and etc., cetera, um, you know, I will be involved as well. And um, yeah, I mean, which is, uh, which is awesome, you know, yeah. I think cricket fans would be looking at looks. It's almost like we have two head coaches over here because, I mean, you guys, a lot of trophies between you over the last two years. So um, from that perspective and philosophy of play, I mean, you are a very attacking brand of type of mindset yeah. of, with the way you play cricket. Do you feel that you and Mark Boucher are on, on the same level with regards to that philosophy or is there a specific philosophy that you guys have? No, absolutely. You know, I think we, if you look at how you used to play, um, very attacking player, uh, very attacking mindset. So, and again, that's we. I strongly believe we're going to form a, a, a great team um, from that perspective. And you know, we just need to obviously find the right the right combinations in terms of what's going to work. And um, and uh, from my perspective, I also feel that you know we will be able to challenge each other um, because I think that's needed in the environment. You shouldn't be. Yeah, t uh, too comfortable in a position and um, you know take the best out of each other take the best out of the environment the team the management team so yeah it's it's uh, um, I mean one thing we care about is is you know winning winning uh, getting the country to win um, and I think that's something that obviously has, has been missing for some time it does happen every every country you know every every team in the world um, they go through some bad patches some tough periods but now it's a massive opportunity that you know we need to take the protests out of this and with um, not lose sight of the 2023 World Cup. Um, we need to also build on to that. So I look forward to that. India is considered one of the toughest places to tour, and you guys had a difficult time over there. Can you just maybe tell me some of the learnings that you pulled out from that tour? Yeah, look, I mean, there's, there was quite a lot. Um, if you look at the, the T20, uh, the 220 series, how. Yes, we had a bit more time as a group to prepare and, um, and the guys to sort of understand my philosophy in terms of what I want from the team and, um, and obviously there was a complete new energy and the guys were able to adapt to that. Um, and obviously in mind there was you know, the T20 World Cup in Australia, I think there was, there was, there was quite a lot for them on the platform to, to prove their skills and what they, what they can do. And I mean, you look at the opposition, the conditions, um, tough but you know, and, and they stretch your character to to certain levels that you probably never expected. Um, I just enjoyed really how they how they played against our, our our bowling attack, our spinners. So those those are some of the things you can take away and say 
um, if you you know if you really believe in um, that you can actually break down a bolo too, you know, then then do it. And they were very strategic, obviously, in terms of their declaration, um, you know, time of play, and all those type of things. So, so those are some of the things we we, we can move forward. Um, you know, we talk about being courageous. So, and how do we how do we become actually courageous? And they've actually proven that. But obviously, that's something you you work on over a period of time, and we need to give that a chance. Um, the angles of their spin bowlers, um, they were very, very simple, very attacking, straighter lines, higher percentage in terms of hitting the wickets. Um, and those are some, you know, they, they actually mastered the basics better than us. It came down to that. And um, obviously the shoe smartness that they brought into the game. So, yeah, I mean, some, some key learnings. And that's something that we're going to have to look at our system, look at our game and see, you know, well, what is the South African way? What is the South African DNA? And obviously the likes of Graham and, and Bouch and Ashwell Prince, those are the guys that have sort of, for a period of time, they had that strong identity. I think with them, the three of them being involved, um, we'll, we'll find that South African DNA as quickly as possible. Look, I know you probably can't speak on behalf of the players, but you know, having the likes of Graham, Mark, and Ashwell now in top, uh, top setup, surely that's going to do well for them in terms of their confidence going forward. Neymar is now cricketing people, quote unquote, in charge. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's always to you know you look at every country uh, in different sports when you when you your, when your legends, your great minds uh, get involved, um, it boosts it boosts a lot of confidence because there's no question around skill. There's no question about uh, no, around talent, and it, it was just a matter of you know how how do we how can we all pull in the same direction? You know, get some great minds involved um, because as you know as a coach you can do is so much, but. There's nothing better, obviously, on the field, which is something we're going to work on, uh, having some, some great experience on the field. But to have s some confidence, some, some bit of aura on, in the change room, it also does help because um, the, the coach is not always going to have the, all the answers. But to just to tap into you know, the likes of you know, Graham Smith, when obviously when he's around, um, you know, he's, he was a uh, best captain. Tap into his leadership in terms of what he's done over a period of 10 to 11 years. Uh, Mark Boucher, you know, you kept, uh, he went through some tough time, you know, keeping, batting, um, all sorts of things. So there's, there's different way characteristics that, um, you know, that they can rub off to the, to the rest of the group. And, and I'm sure, you know, we're going to st start seeing some positive signs as we go along. So, um, yeah, and I look forward to that.